everyone, so similar to last spring, I set up some trail cams this year at a handful of New York timber rattlesnake dens to document the reptiles emerging from their winter slumber. And during the month of May, the cameras captured the snakes during their slow but steady egress. Although, I'm not sure why I included this clip. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Anyway, uh, th this camera in particular was set partially inside a den where it was eventually knocked over by the sluggish but determined rattlesnakes and subsequently buried in leaves. Now the best footage was captured at this small ledge den, which included this bobcat lashing out at one of the den's occupants. More on that shortly. Backing up a little, general emergence at this den site begins the last week in April, which included a visit by at least one acrobatic garter snake and an annoying bumblebee. Inching towards the 1st of May, rattlesnake emergence and activity increased. Other animals, despite the potential danger, made appearances. Thankfully for this raccoon, the snakes were too chilled and lethargic to actively defend themselves, and it is possible the mammal was hunting for smaller snakes. This squirrel, however, is tempting fate, and really should seek out a different location to cache its nuts. Ah, white-footed mice everywhere all the time, including scurrying about in close proximity to one of its top predators. Now, on to the bobcat. This first clip, we just see the backside of the feline as it becomes startled and begins swiping out at the rattlesnakes in the den crevice. Here, we get a better view of the action. Notice how the bobcat misses its first couple of blows with its right paw before switching to its left and making contact with the snake. By the end of the clip, it appears that the bobcat begins to back down as the snake retreats further into the crevice. Last summer at a rattlesnake birthing workery, one of the trail cameras captured an encounter between the snakes and a bobcat mom with her kit, but the cat seemed more nervously curious than predatory or defensive. So to have one actually caught on camera exhibiting predatory behavior was quite exciting. I felt particularly lucky that the camera captured the bobcat when it did, because just two days later it was knocked over by a mother black bear. I say mother because notice her cub in the upper right corner. Now facing skyward, the only thing the camera recorded over the next few weeks were the leaves growing on the trees. Well that is a wrap. Now my next project, which recently included staying in a cheap motel near my New York trail cams, involved the arduous task of moving the cameras from den sites to basking areas which are situated high up on mountainous ridges. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.